Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, we are back on the Builder Base and uh, well what we're going to be doing is we are actually going to try and unlock the Master Builder, oh, sorry not the Master Builder, the Battle Machine, now that's going to be pretty awesome, now to be able to accomplish that we're going to have to gem up the time right here because I have already been getting the entire loot for the three wins, so I have to gem that up uh, for 21 gems which is obviously fine, so by the way before we get ourselves into a couple of attacks I want to mention something now it may not show within this video but I'm actually so nervous right now reason being in about two hours I've got my first ever driving lessons and I don't know I'm literally so so nervous for something to happen something to go wrong I literally don't know so if this video has not been up you know what happened okay you guys know what happened but uh, yeah in any case I'm not gonna go ahead and talk about that any further we're gonna get ourselves into a couple of attacks so Basically, we need about 200,000 more elixir to be able to buy ourselves the battle machine, which I am really excited about. So, that being said, we're going to have to do a couple of attacks, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to fail this first attack just because of the, um, I don't know what this thing is called in the center, next to the crusher, basically, on the left-hand side, and uh, behind the cannon, I don't know what it's called, but I think that's going to literally fry my troops. And the way I'm going to go into this attack is I'm going to do a giant cannon attack. So, this is what I like calling it the giant cannon attack but we are going to give it a try although honestly I don't know how to go into this base literally this is like a really difficult base to be honest so I'm just going to go in from this side one two and three giants we're going to drop in a couple of cannons in behind why not there we go and we're going to drop in the rest of our giants in a couple of moments and right now one two and we're going to keep a single giant why not actually no we're going to drop the giant in a couple of moments right about now there goes the giant hope Hopefully these cannons can move into the center of the base and do a little bit of damage to some of these defenses. The multi cannon, multi cannon, multi mortar is going to uh, annihilate a couple of my cannons. Maybe these cannons can get the 50% for me though. I don't really know. We've got a cannon on the outside of the base. Going to take out the army camp. Can these cannons take out the town hall? I honestly doubt it. The builder hall actually. But let's wait and see. Yes, you guys, this cannon is out of range of any arch towers, any cannons. So that means we're going to be getting the victory. 49 percent can we get the 50 no we can't so what we have to hope for is for the enemy to not have gotten the 50 percent let's wait and see no you guys no way this is ridiculous oh my god we only needed a single percentage point one more structure and we would have gotten the victory but this is very unfortunate actually i'm gonna go ahead and boost the clock tower because we are currently recording this video and i wouldn't like to really edit this video too much i wouldn't really like to uh, cut it too much but anyways this is the battle machine so before we upgrade it before we get the rest of the loot we need the next master builder which is going to cost us 62 gems so if we do indeed manage to collect the elixir i'm obviously going to gem that up but the battle machine is going to cost me 900 000 elixir and it says battle machine this massive machine broke uh, broke attempting this hoist the realm's biggest hammer okay very interesting with some repairs it could be taken into battle so that is basically what the description says but we're going to get ourselves into another attack hopefully we can find a base where we can do a mass minion attack and uh, i believe this may be a good base to do it but i'd rather do the exact same attack as we did uh, earlier on this base because I do really think this is going to work so check it out we're going to spam in all of our giants in one place literally and then drop in a couple of cannons on the outside of the base why not see what happens so it seems like the multi mortar is within range of that cannon which is not something I actually wanted hopefully the cannon is not going to die and okay it's still alive still up and running and let's wait for these giants to take out the cannon and then the archer tower and then we're going to drop in the rest of our cannon so one more cannon no the cannon is going the wrong way oh damn it I wanted the cannon to go into the center of the base but the giants they are still alive a couple of them can these two cannons take out the builders hall is the question it seems like they're going to be able to do that but are we going to be getting the victory i don't know what i'm worried about is that the enemy is going to already have gotten the 50 percent uh, one star which means that guy is going to have more percentage points than me let's wait and see so the battle has ended 44 percent one star let's check it out yes okay we got the victory so that's pretty good first victory of the day we're going to get us all Oh no, no way you guys. Oh my god. This video literally took a 360 turn or yeah, li literally. I mean just look at my elixir storage. It's full. I that means I have to upgrade my elixir storages first. 
Oh god, okay, you guys, this is gonna cost me like a ton of gems. I am so disappointed. This is not good at all. Um, okay, so what, uh, yeah, this is, this is so annoying. I'm gonna have to spend quite a few gems right here, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess I can't really do anything else. So there go a couple of gems. There go even more gems, and hopefully we can now hold 900k, and yes, we can indeed. So that was about 150 gems or so. For literally just because we messed up with our loot I just did not notice it at all but in any case we are going to go ahead and do another attack and it seems like these bases they're pretty good for this attack strategy for the giant cannon attack so we're gonna spam in each and every single one of our giants again and then drop in a couple of uh, cannons on the outside of the base just like so hopefully the giants can break through this wall compartment with ease and there they go we're gonna drop in our final giant right here and then that giant is going to do like a boxing punch or whatever it is called I don't know what it's called and there goes the uh, what is it the air defense going to drop in one more cannon right there there we go hopefully the cannon does move on towards the center of the base and I'm hoping this cannon doesn't die okay so it's still up and running which is good that means the cannon is going to remain alive I believe no it went way too close to the build at all I mean just look at it why does it have to be literally right there but that is okay because we've got a cannon on the top of the base taking out the build at all all by itself and then we have a couple of cannons on the outside of the base which means we're going to be securing ourselves the 50% now my guess is we're going to be getting a turtle of 60% that's my final guess you guys 60% let's wait and see this cannon going to be targeted by the double cannon but that's fine 55% can this cannon get a couple of more percentage points 59% and it's going to be out of range of that double cannon which means we're obviously going to have a better time getting more percentage points but there goes the cannon and rest in peace there it goes you guys and and that's going to be the 62% two-star victory and we're definitely going to win this yes okay there we go enemy only got 40% but a one-star which is still pretty good and we have one more victory to get which we are going to have to get and then we're going to be getting the battle machine which I am really excited about because I have not got the battle machine on any of my accounts which is really interesting and I definitely should consider playing the battle hall more although lately I have been playing it now in any case we're going to have to go ahead and look at how we're going to be doing this attack honestly I don't really know how to do this I think I want to go in with a couple of barbarians though so we're going to be doing a mass barb attack why not let's check it out and yes okay actually yeah no actually we're going to do this a mass barbarian attack why not I was thinking about taking a couple of wall bakers when you know what well, actually we are going to take a couple of wall bakers okay there we go so there go a couple of barbarians obviously on the outside of the base just here and there why not a couple of more one over here one over here and hopefully these bobs these final bobs can take out this army camp and then we can move in with our wall breakers so the multi mortar is going to take out my bob but we are now going to drop in our wall breakers oh wow the range on the mortar is mad okay that is a much larger range than i had expected going to drop in a couple of barbarians then because i legit i was not expecting that but let's wait and see i'm hoping that these warbreakers can now target that wall okay there we go so we're now just going to literally spam in all of our bobs hopefully they can get the multi mortar and then the town hall and then i'm gonna be happy and good to go build a hall not town hall but there goes the builder hall there goes the archer tower i don't think we can take out the air defenses let's wait and see no we can't we have a single wall breaker remaining on the top of the base which is a little funny to be honest but there we go you guys 33 percent one star are we going to be getting the victory i doubt it going to have to wait and see what the enemy got okay so the enemy didn't even manage to get 30 percent that means we're going to be getting the victory which means we finally have enough loot to buy ourselves the battle machine we can now restore this guy there we go 900k elixir in three two one and bam there we go you guys okay and no oh god i never expected that i actually thought the battle machine was going to upgrade already like really fast uh in a matter of seconds but it seems like it's going to take us 12 hours but that is okay you guys i'm definitely fine with that because that means in 12 hours i'm going to be able to use the battle machine for the first time ever and i'm obviously going to be making a video on that so for a final thing i think we should do a last attack why not 
get ourselves a couple of trophies if we can manage to do that and I um, I didn't really promise anything but I really wanted to do a minion attack in today's video so I'm just going to do this right here right now I'm pretty sure I'm going to be getting the loss right here but that is fine I honestly don't really mind check it out I just love the fact that the minions are glowing and they're green and not um, blue like in the main village they just look way way cooler and I love the fact that when you first deploy them they can actually um, like I, I guess I would say they can spit from a uh, further range which is pretty cool I really like that feature pretty good idea by super Soul right there but uh, yeah there go our minions a couple of them gonna take out that air defense yes they are the uh, mine right here it's going to take out a ton of our minions and that's going to be it you guys 42 percent I believe we're gonna lose it though because we didn't even get a single star let's check out our enemy and yeah he's absolutely wrecking our base although no he only has the battle machine and a couple of war breakers going to have to wait and see if he's going to be able to get the one star doesn't look like it the builder hall is going to stay alive now it's all about a matter of the war breakers and it seems like they're gonna fail let's check out the range on the archer tower and yeah that's gonna be it for this attack which means we got yet another victory not gonna be getting any loot but we're gonna be getting a couple of trophies which is always good always like that and uh, yeah that's basically been it for today's video you guys so if you did enjoy this video then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up also let me know down below in the comment section if you are excited about this battle machine obviously it's not your base so you cannot be as excited as i am but i'm really excited to use the battle machine for the first time ever now if you did enjoy this video and you would like to subscribe then please be sure to go ahead and do that i upload clash of clans videos each and every single day for you guys sneak peeks updates whatever it is i'm gonna do it trophy pushing anything you guys want to but with all that being said guys my name is of course sasha and i'll see you next time peace out